It all starts here. In front of a crowd of over 70,000 people, the Lionesses are under pressure to show fans and Austria a cracking game. I am expecting a lot from them this tournament, but I don't think they'll disappoint. And, you know, there's just so many, so much talent in the squad that it's just so exciting. Never would have imagined a couple of years ago, even at the, like, the last World Cup, you know, people just weren't that interested. And now, I mean, look at how many people have turned out already. The women's Euros is a smaller competition than the men's, with only four groups of four teams. Joining England in Group A are Norway, Austria and Northern Ireland. Over the course of the next three and a half weeks, 31 matches will take place in 10 stadiums across eight English towns and cities, where fan festivals will be taking place throughout the tournament. Are you excited for the women's Euros? Yep. What are you excited about? Uh, England winning. The challenge for the women's Euros is to move the game on further, inspiring younger generations. Very excited. I can't wait to watch the games. Already, there are positive signs. All of a sudden I wanted to start playing. I saw all the girls playing and that just made me want to play. Well, we've just been playing some matches. I've uh, got a really, really good team, actually, so... Who's winning? Uh, us. Quick, we're off, we're off, we're off! Yeah! Excitement oh, is building again. and expectations are high. I think that they've recognised, and I've heard Leah Williamson, the captain, say pressure is a privilege. The fact that the last three tournaments we've got to the semi-final stage, I know they want to do that again and, and surpass it and get further. Have you spoken to the Lionesses, have you spoken to the team and have you given them any words of encouragement? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I thought you were going to say advice and I was like, <laughs> no, they don't need anything, any advice from me. But yeah, encouragement and just, just really say like, look, you've got all our love, support and we believe in you. Tickets for tonight are already sold out and UEFA have confirmed over half a million match tickets have been sold for the tournament. This is a huge breakthrough and it doesn't stop there. Northern Ireland have qualified for their first major tournament in women's football. Proof that momentum for the sport is building. Tonight, though, we'll see fans rejoice across the country. For women's football, few moments have matched the potential of the next three weeks.